Hey basketball coaches and basketball players, today I'm going to show you some fantastic and easy full court press zone defenses that you can use to really beat the other team really badly. So let's get down to the clipboard and let's check out these full court zone defenses. Okay, so first off, the reason why they're easy is because each one of these zone full court press defenses are going to be able to fit into a simple zone defense so this first one is a 2-2-1 full court press and the reason why this one's i like to call this one easy be is because it fits into a fantastic 2-3 zone really easily now in a 2-2-1 full court press what you want to see happen and at least how i like to run it is to have these two players on the elbows these two players are are tight but they're only maybe a foot wider than players one and two. And then we have player five way in the back court. So first off, I don't want to see players three and four leaving the half court line uh, going all that far forward. I only want them to be maybe two to three feet past and no farther. And then once the other team, once the other team is inbounded the ball, I want to see player one up on the player on this side, or if the ball gets inbounded to the other side, I want to see player two up on that man. At that point in time, I want to see player one move in and take away the center court, but I do not want him to go too far forward because to cut off the reverse pass, because some coaches will like to have that reverse pass happen. Because if he goes too far forward, player two will then just go to mid court. And we do not want anyone going up the middle because as soon as that happens, that closes off the middle and they can pass out towards the sides and get past half quite easily. So what I want to see happen and most of the time what you're going to have happen is the ball will get inbounded towards this side. What I want to see happen is player one guard him and player two guard the free throw line. We don't want anything up the middle. We're okay with reverse passes. We just don't want anything up the middle. Now, what's going to happen is if they do that reverse pass, we want player two to come up and guard. Obviously, force player two towards the sideline. If you don't already know, the basics on a full court press is to trap along the sidelines. Some coaches will just say trap anywhere and then make them reverse. I understand that, but personally, I would rather have my team trap in those corners the reason is is let's say we trap player two in that corner well he can't go back over half we also can't have him go out of bounds because that's a well we we would like that to happen but he can't go out of bounds and he can't have forward progression which means that he is trapped he is unable to move so going back really quickly we would have player two on ball forcing towards the sideline. We would have player one taking away the middle, roughly around the free throw line. And as soon as player two passes the free throw line, we want player one to move back up past the free throw line, staying in line with where player two blue really is. That way, that ball continues to go towards the sideline. We have player four taking away the middle. We have player one taking away the middle at the free throw line, or at least in line with player two. If they decide to reverse the ball, same thing happens. We have player one going up to guard, but once we get past that free throw line, I do not want to go back over it. The reason is, is because now that's starting to open up the middle and we don't want that to happen. So. Now we're playing super tight. We have player one trying to reverse the dribble back over. And we have player four starting to tra start that trap. We have player three taking away the middle and player two starting to take away that middle. Meanwhile, we have player five taking away any long passes. He's going to eventually hopefully get trapped along that sideline. Again, they only have eight seconds back here. So if they don't get past half, then it's our ball. Now this next zone I'm going to show you is the 1-2-2. 1-2-2, two, two. Uh, that's basically the reason for the name. But this one fits really nicely into a 3-2 zone defense. 
or a 2-1-2 zone defense. That is why I like to say this one's also an easy zone press. Now, the idea behind this one is player one is playing man on wherever that ball goes. Let's say the ball gets inbounded and they try to reverse it really quickly because obviously almost every single team does that and that's what they want to do and that's what you're generally wanting to do anyways. Player one is going to move over and try and put some pressure on him. This is single coverage until the ball gets past the free throw line. As soon as the ball gets past the free throw line, we have a man on. We have player three covering the center. We have player four covering the middle of the court. And now... Of course, if they want to reverse pass, that's totally fine. We have player three taking up. We have player one now man on. We have player two cutting off reverse. We have player four cutting off the middle. Or what I prefer is for player four to move down and player five to take up middle. Because now, if there's a player over here, player four is man on. That's not going to be happening. We don't want anything up the middle. And of course, we're playing super tight, super close. So we don't want anything going up that middle. This is going to continue towards that sideline. Player 4 is going to start backing up unless there's a player in that area. Then he's going to be staying man on. And that ball is going to get trapped. When that ball gets trapped, it's the same in every single zone press. We want our two players man on. We want our three players to be spread out. We want player five to be taking away backcourt. We want players two and four guarding anything up close. That is how I like to run it. This next one is a tight 3-2 full court press. Now, this one only works if these two players are super fast. We do not want any touchdown passes. Those players need to go be able to cut those off. So how I like to set this one up is to have players two, 1, 2, and 3 are three fastest players to be guarding that free throw line. That way, we have players 4 and 5 on this side of half. Now, this is more of a tighter defense. We could also run this as a 3-1-1, but I like to run it as a 3-2. It's worked out really well. Unless we're playing up against a faster team than us, then we can run a 3-1-1. Either way, this fits into a 3-2 zone quite easily and can be ran with almost any team. If you're playing against a slower team, it's a 3-2. Faster team, it's a 3-1-1. And basically how this works is these three players are staying where they are until this ball gets advanced up. I like to basically have a solid wall. Player 3 is going to be maybe a foot past the key. On player two is going to be the same on the other side. Player one is taking up the middle. So basically, this is forcing the other team to go up the sideline. And as soon as that happens, we're going to be having player three on. Player one is going to be moving over, and player two is going to be moving over. We have player four moving over just a bit, but still taking away that mid. And then we have player five moving back just a bit, but sliding over towards this side. Either way, whether this be a 3-2 or a 3-1-1, even if the players were set up like this, they're still going to be ending up like this. So you might as well just kind of start like that anyways, unless you're playing up against a really, really slow team. Now, we're going to be having that force towards that sideline if they try to reverse the ball. And they're going to try and break that, that barrier right there, that little gap. We're going to close it with player one. Player one is going to be then forcing player two back towards the other side. Player two red is not going to be picking up until player two reaches that imaginary center line. We're going to be having player four move over, player five move up. We're taking away that middle and now player three is starting to take away that middle as well. We're going to be forcing over towards the other side. We're going to start having player four move down, player five and player three move over, and then it's going to be forced into that corner. Now these are super simple and easy zone presses to run because with this, these zone press defenses, you can fit into a half court zone defense really easily. Now, if you're running a very athletic team, you could run these zone presses pretty well all game and absolutely destroy the other team. I hope that you have win or have you you have liked today's video. I hope it helps you win more basketball games. If it does, let us know in the comment section below 
below. I would love to hear from you, and I'll see you guys again later on today for the second video of the day.